Hello Mech Warriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Inner Sphere. We're gonna continue our playthrough today and I want to get the next hero mech that is coming from the contract that is not here but... Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's right up there. So we're gonna go there but first we're gonna repair our battle mechs and uh, have a good time with them. I think, uh, as far as I know, we're gonna get an archer out of that storyline, which is a very, very good mech, especially when you can play that early on. It is amazing to get, because it has all the missile hardpoints that you would ever need, and you will see. You will see, guys. <laughs> First of all, we're gonna get it, and then we're gonna make a build with it, and then we're gonna bring it to the battlefield today. That's my kind of battle plan today, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start with point number one. Play the 70 rated mission in the forest in the summer, that's pretty good. And I will probably take all the salvage shares that I can get here. I mean, why not? Let's do it, guys. We have, hmm, our Stalker would be an okay mech to have. At the same time, those guys are a little bit too big right now. So what about, what about, what about our Victor? Our Victor is broken? Oh no. Oh no, Victor, what did you do? <laughs> we'll check it out later. Uh, I'm gonna go T-Bolt here. And uh, I need to drop 10 more tons. Maybe this is Hunchback again. Alright. So we are missile oriented. We have a tag again, which is quite good. And we're gonna bring the back of the Hunch. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm super excited, guys. Uh, by the way, uh, for all of you who are wondering, a little side note. Um, my plan is to get all of the Inner Sphere heroes of the Inner Sphere Hero Max. Then, we're gonna play around with them a little while, and we then we're gonna to start modding the game to get a little bit of extra experience to, um, to you guys. You know, give you a different experience. In that city is King Let's listen to Rihanna. We will have to secure and search the area if we are to claim it. But, the Waycall Rangers have already dug into a position in a forward operating base to the south of our objective. Uh -huh. could move to intercept if they see us moving on the city. A preemptive strike against their base may significantly thin their numbers, but it might also allow Bowen to lay claim to his father's mech before we reach him. Okay. I'll leave it up to you to determine the best course of action. Um, so, left or right? That's the question here. I'm going with, uh, you know, straight, straight up to Bowen. Just destroy that guy and then the reinforcements will arrive later. I think that's how we're going to do it. So we go right here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So let's go down here. It seems to be kind of a tight, narrow canyon, which is not really beneficial for our stalker. But at the very least, we have we have the lasers that help us out if somebody is getting too close. So let's let's go down here. That's an actual pretty map, I gotta say. Man, we need more of those handcrafted storylines. It's, it's just so much better. I think this kind of resembles more to the old-school Mech Warrior experience, where you have those longer missions with kind of multiple stages and an actual storyline attached to it, and ambushes being laid properly, not only spawning behind you and stuff like that. I love it. So we go right, as I was saying. Let's do it. Look at that. We come down from this, from this canyon, from this tunnel, and a wide open order. field emerges. So good. So good. I love it. Want to try dispatching forces from the south to intercept us. All right. I'm reading a number of ranger forces moving on the city. We must be getting close, commander. Let's go. So we have to capture the zone. Kind of looks like it's under a force field from here. <laughs> and they're sending enemies from the south, like from here. All right, we'll check it out, guys. First of all, we have to get in there. By the way, we have a demolitor on our side. That is pretty good. Um, okay, let's make the quarter. Okay, can I shoot again? Let's get the VTOLs down quickly. There's still one on the battlefield. Should I go for those guys? I think my friends can handle... Can handle the ego that was behind us. And they're bringing... Nice. Um, they're bringing uh, Max now. Let's go. So we have captured it to 24%. And here comes the big attack. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna go for the Warhammer first. Ooh, the Demolisher is doing great work there. Hitting that guy on the right side also. Beautiful. Just shooting some missiles here. Alright, we got that guy. Now it's the Cicada because it's way too close. Let's see if we can destroy it quickly. 
Ooh, yeah. Oh, we definitely can. We just need to hit. <laughs> Alright, Cicada is down. I think next up is the T-Bolt. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna go for the Spider. So that my friends can go for the Thunderbolt in the back. Yeah. And I have this here covered. Okay. Ow. I'm getting damage. I don't want to take damage. Cool, cool, cool. So spiderly. You are stuck. No, you are dead. Our best guess is that the Rangers have already discovered the Meg and have moved uh -huh. it to their forward operating base to the uh -huh. south. Uh -huh. We need to move against that facility. All right, let's go then. Our hunchback is getting torn up, by the way. Let's get that manticore. All right. I am so hot right now. <laughs> so far, so good. So, we still have some enemies on the board. Before we move on to the city, uh, we take the charger down. Yeah, our hunchback is so aggressive right now, and it's taking so much damage. But it's okay, we can rebuild the hunchback. We we can we can make him better. We have the technology. That was a one too much. <laughs> but it's okay. So, what about the hunchy? Um, it's okay, you just lost an arm. Perfectly fine. And we got the cicada. Man, that stand our ground mission here is perfect for the build that we have. It's super good. I'm actually having a lot of fun here. We can just chill and just lob missiles. It feels very strong and very powerful. But now we're gonna go in and we're gonna have a good time shooting the rest of those guys to pieces. Let's do it. Maybe bats with the hunchback can fall behind a little bit. <laughs> I mean, the, the side torso armor is still pretty good. The only thing that got wrecked is the arms and the legs there. And that's no big deal. We can replace them. We can replace the whole mech if we wanted to. There's no major stuff in there. You heard the commander. Take the target. Firing on the least oh, a locus coming out of nowhere. Oh, okay. So here we are. We need to cool, we need to cool quickly. Oh god. Can we get to zero heat before the reinforcements arrive? It seems like we can. Okie dokie. So Hanchi, you set up an ambush there, hide around the corner, that's pretty good. Alright, let's go for the hawk first. Whatever. The important thing is that we take a primary target and stick to it. Alright, there's a fract coming. A crowd of fract. It's Cataphract, I know. Alright, he's down. New target, Panther. Panther! Panther doesn't like me. Oh, I don't like the back of my archer. Okay. Careful here. Beautiful. Um, at the same time, guys, there's a Fract. Can you... Can you go for the Cataphract that's right in front of you? I mean, yeah, I sent my people as an attack. Um, to the Shadowhawk. I know, I know, I know. Alright, that's just a hunchback. As I was saying, we can get it back later. No, too much. But I think we just got him. Did we? Did we? Not quite. This is so crazy. The hunchback is still operational. <laughs> still has the auto cannon, but I think the ammo is destroyed now, and therefore... Uh, it's not shooting the big gun anymore. Come on over here. There we go. So, now we have to wreck the, the base for... I don't know what reason. As in, we're gonna destroy all the buildings with our mechs. Because in one of the buildings, there might be an ancient artifact from old times. That we want to want to get here. And we want to salvage. That makes no sense, but okay. <laughs> Alright. Was a good mission. Here, 
Whoa. Just received access codes for a hidden storage facility at the Mont Nav Point. We are Move not done. As quickly as you can. Aha! We are not done. So our hunchy is gonna have a bad time here. You know what? I don't want the, the pilot to die. So I'm gonna send the hunchback right over here. Alright, and the rest. Come on, guys. Let's go. They are still wreaking havoc in the city. <laughs> Wait a second. Behind you, I say all on me. And then you there. there no, no. On your six. So I think I got it now. <laughs> got it figured out. Let's go into the city and keep fighting. My mech also took a lot of damage already. I mean, a good chunk of it. I can see my, my right leg being orange. My center torso also being orange. So let's see how this goes here. All right, let's do it. Maybe I'm not giving my my people a, a full attack order this time and just you know let them do their thing because I think that resulted in the hunchback getting leg. But where where is the guy? I don't want to go into the city. This is not an urban brawl mech that we have here. Hello? Anybody here? There they are. That's a Wolverine. Oh, and that's... Yeah, a light mech. Right on my tail. Lost a machine gun already, and we have him... We have him tagged. That's good. And then there is a Shadowhawk again. Oh, God. Maybe the best way to kill that thing is going for his head. Oh, it's a straight center torso, I guess. And one more. Come on. I cannot fire my missiles right now. No, I can. Alrighty, here we go again. There he comes. So yeah, I want to back up from this. You're dead. So, Bowen's forces are about to be eliminated. We only have one Wolverine on the board, but where's Bowen himself? That's not him, right? That's not him, no. Yeah, you better run, buddy. But you can't. So SRM is down. Careful with the team damage. So we got him. Now what? Should we push even further into the city? There is more. There has to be one more. And I think it's Bowen himself with the price mech that we want to get here. Alright, let's check it out. Hmm... Should probably not waste too much ammo here. But we're gonna carve a path through the city. Where is the last guy? I really feel like I'm missing something. Hello? Hello? We are here. We're here to kill you. But you're not. So what is happening? <laughs> Seriously, I, I have questions. Alright, we'll take a look at the battle map. I'm supposed to stand here, right? Oh, there he is! A Jägermack! <laughs> oh, we even have a mission for the Jäger. No, that's cool. Yeah, you're dead. That was the last one. Okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, Jägermack. He actually surprised me a little bit. That was, a, that was a big surprise. So, now we have to go over here, get the... I don't know, the archer out of the ground here? We'll see. And then we go home with our new hero mech. Ah. Again, we carve a path. Ah, there it is. Look at this. So, some nice underground storage. And now it's ours. Yes! Let's go. There she is. Agincourt. My father would be proud to see it in your hands, Commander. Thank you for taking me this far. Don't celebrate So yet. beautiful. We have incoming dropships. What? 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 More? Alright, 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 alright. Let's fight. I like that there is another wave of attack coming. That is pretty cool. So where did I land? Huh? 
Where are you? Also, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is, is quite damaged already. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the Orion first. Ideally. Okay. What's that? It's a Warhammer? Oh god. Oh my god. My Thunderbolt is getting wrecked. Warhammer, Orion, and Marauder. Okay. I guess I have to eat the damage here. Let's go with that. Got one. I should not shut down. I should not shut down. But I panicked. No! My stalker, my precious stalker. Actually, my precious stalker, there's a lot of good stuff in here. All right, we're gonna maneuver a little bit. <laughs> this whole stand and shoot thing, it might have not been the best idea. We also have a flea on the board. Shoot him in the butt! Okay, we're out of here. Um, I thought you were dead. You're not, obviously. Ow. Is this where we go internal? Brawling with an Orion in a Stalker. Not really the best idea in the world, but okay. Oh, and then you! I'm gonna show you my back armor, because I still have some. Haha, <laughs> and we're out of here. Okay, okay, okay. Again, this make is not made for extensive city fights. Ugh, let's go around. So sluggish, so slow. Back shot again. And you're so cherry red. Oh, this is where we go critical. We need a good, another good back shot, and then we have it. Whoa! So, last enemy on the board is a flea. But where did it go? You are shooting. That means there is a. The flea is around the corner here. So, can we find it? Flea, come on, show yourself. I really hope that the T bolt can keep the tag. That's very important to me. And we got it. Woo! So. Coming with some major repairs here. And the Warcall Rangers are withdrawing from the field. Kate, oh, Archer is good. I am sorry, but your brother's mech appears to be non-responsive. I'm sorry to see it end this way. Huh. But I hope that now, both my father and my brother can finally rest in peace. I'm sure the honor of King Kate's memory will be forever entombed in the core of the Archer Commander. Coming in for extraction. Alright. So, she is an only child now. Maybe she's not too unhappy that her brother is down. I mean, she can now, you know, fulfill the, the, the legacy of her parents. Like, her family. Alone. But okay. We have to repair the mix. And we have to build an archer. So, I would say, without any further ado, we're gonna take that thing, bring it to an industrial hub, and make a build happen with it. Because... I like brawling, and that thing has some great brawling capacity. So here we go, 1.1 million sea bills. We can take a charger. Seriously, we can take a charger. I haven't really taken a look at the charger yet, at the 1A5. I wonder if it's a good idea to pick it up. Seems like it has some options. The Orion is okay, it's a decent mech. Um. But there's nothing else I really want, so I guess we're gonna try to charge it. Why not? It's, I mean, it's an assault mech. Let's take an assault mech. Bam! So, here we go. Commander, I would like to thank you for locating my father's mech. I know he would have been happy to know his wish was fulfilled. In regards to my brother Bowen, I am... I'm sad to see that this is how it's the story ended. We were somewhat close when I was young, but our family's fall from grace led him down a dark path. Much like my father, after he was discharged from the Free World's Guards. But unlike my father, Bowen never found someone like Nikolai Mason to give him a second chance at life. All he found was more bitterness and resentment, eating away at him like a cancer. I wish he found someone that gave him the will to move on with the life like your father gave mine. Perhaps when we could uh, have a, had a chance to uh, reminisce on the good things that we miss about him rather than the bad, I, I should let you go. Take good care of Agincourt for my father, Commander. He'll be watching. Okay, let's do it. Um, yeah, I wanna... I wanna repair, but I wanna repair in an industrial hub, so let's go right around the corner. Like, right here? Sure. It's also a pretty big one. We might find some other interesting goodies in this kind of cluster. So let's take a look. We're gonna peek in. We're gonna take a look at the charger as well. 
Wanna see what we can do with it. I mean, it has one big ballistic and two medium uh, missiles, so that's already a build. <laughs> AC-20, double SRM, boom, let's go. Alrighty, so are there any uh, pilots here that we want to pick up? There's a 55 rated pilot. I think I should take him. Oh, well, yes, I should. Down, okay. So, my battle max. Uh, we have a catapult that is pretty damaged, but that's currently not of our concern. That was just a random mech that we picked up last time. Uh, I want to get my Eggencord, obviously. And I think I'm going to drop one of the T-Bolts. This one is pretty good because it runs the tag. I like it. <laughs> the Hanshi. The Hanshi is actually getting more and more damage the more firepower is on the battlefield and kind of falls behind in uh, battlefield performance. Just because it's getting taken apart so quickly now. Hmm. I mean, we can actually do what we do on the Hunchback on the Charger if we want to. But it's always a good filler because it's low tonnage. I do believe I will drop this, uh, this, uh, this Thunderbolt and I will keep my Hunchback and bring the Charger in. Alright, so first things first. We need to just repair here. That's good. We need to refit a large laser. Sure, we can do that. No problem. Let's give him a... A tier 2. I'm okay with the tier 2 here. Funnily enough, this guy didn't really lose that much. Just armor. So, good work on, on avoiding the shots later. And you are just getting repaired. Now, Agincourt. Agincourt has all the missile hardpoints that you would ever need on top of four energy hardpoints. And you can actually put an active probe in it. Now, what does an active probe do? Um, it is a 1.5 ton equipment that uh, gives you a sensor range boost of 25%, which means uh, you will see your enemies on the battlefield, or you can track them and lock onto them uh, before they are even getting close, which means if you want to go LRMs on this guy, Take that Beagle Active Probe and shoot down the helicopters before they even know that you are there. You also have um, a no line of sight sensor range, which means you have that bubble around you. And when you are behind cover and an enemy is standing behind a wall, you see them actually. You can track them on your sensors. And that means you can lob missiles over the obstacle, which is quite nice. And then it distorts ECM. So if you really want to go the, the LRM path, do it with the Beagle Probe because it's actually helpful. However, I don't want to do that. So. Let's go ahead and uh, max armor first. Let's go down to like like 12 again. I think 12 is good. Max that out. Go down to 12 here as well. And now we are slightly under tarnished, but I think this is okay. Maybe we can drop a little bit of armor from the legs. Like so. And a little bit of armor from the head. Like so. 24. I hope that's okay. So with that we can kind of do some half taunt shenanigans with, um, with ammunition. Anyway, I want to get out of here again. There we go. So my idea is to put some SRMs on this guy, obviously. That's it. Just short-range missiles. And we have some really good ones here. We have one good one. So that's it. That's all you need. The rest is cooling. The thing is, um, we, st Ooh, we still have doubles. Probably coming with that archer. And here's the thing that I wanted to talk about. It's kind of limited on space. Which means that we cannot squeeze any more doubles into the mech. And we still have a lot of tonnage left. So you have basically two options to do something now. Uh, when you want to follow the same path here. Um, you can either put more single heat sinks into the mech. Or you could use the weight and just add more weapon systems and be more versatile. But what I want to do here is the following. I want to put one single there. I want to put, I think, with a build like that, four tons might be good. Oh my god, this is not even working. <laughs> Do we take the beagle with us then? I mean, we might want to do something like that, right? Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna drop those and put singles in there. Why? Because we take three slots for two, um, uh, for a heat capacity of two. But we still have a lot of weight, so we can also take the three slots and have a heat capacity of three. So getting all the singles in the arms, that would be a thing that would work. The small missile hardpoints, they could be filled with SRM-4s. Like that. But... <laughs> but... Oh no. Is that, I think that's too much, honestly. I think that is honestly too much. What I'm gonna do... Is... Um, 
I'm gonna make a build that is a, is a transitional build. I'm putting uh, two LRM5s in here for some mid-range damage. I could also go with, um, with some small lasers, honestly. How do we do it? There, there are multiple options, so I can now put a ton of things, uh, of ammo in here, so I have something that I can use to shoot down helicopters when they are approaching, you know, just that. That uh, would be a thing, having some mid-range options. The other option would be, hear me out guys, we're gonna take the small lasers that we have lying around, put them in here, and another single heatsink, boom, here. We could also not do that. Because I'm not really a fan of small lasers, I gotta say. And we have a very good short range build on this already. Um, we could go back and get this and this. With that we need more ammo though. So let's put a ton of ammo here and you can see we are slightly over tonnage. Drop the beagle again. And then get another half ton somewhere. Maybe? Maybe, yeah, I mean that's possible. It would be an even more explosive build, but we will have some definite heat problems with that. Because I don't think that this is uh, this is cold enough. Alright, how, how would we do that? We'll take the double. That's a build, everybody. And we keep the beagle to know where everybody is, but I don't need it, that's the thing. I don't necessarily need it. Alright, I'll drop the beagle. I'll go back to my singles. This is no full ton, this is half a ton. Alright, I think we got it. Cool. So we have four and a half tons of ammo, which is also not that much, so this single heat sink should also be an, a bin of SRM ammo. And that's gonna be the build, guys. So we have ammo, we have all the short range missiles in the world, we have armor, we have cooling. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Egg and cord. Let's do it. Also, charger. Let's take a look at the charger, because that thing is actually quite interesting. Uh, if we repair all, you can see it is actually maxed out on armor. Almost. That's good. That's a good indicator that the build is viable. It would also result in a brawling mech. <laughs> so, what we're going to be doing with that thing is... Uh, oh, we have a Gauss rifle. Let me think about that option for a second. A Gauss rifle and two LRMs. Plus two medium lasers? I think that's too much, right? Let's see. Maybe a Gauss rifle and two SRMs? I think I want the Gauss on something better. On something bigger. I see we have no ammo yet. Um, well, what we can do with this mech is something like that. A good old AC-10 burst fire. Two LRM-10s, two medium laser. Give it to a friend, uh, like a, to an AI pilot. And have a nice, uh, nice support mech. I would even go as far as putting the double heat sinks in the center here, because they are kind of safe there. That a good build? Rest is ammunition. We are quite low on ammo though. So what about we make it a bit more aggressive? What about those are not long range but short range missiles? What about that? Seems good. I like that idea. We're gonna put two tons of ammo here. Two tons of ammo here. The rest is cooling. Actually, let me pick up a half a ton of um, AC-10 ammo. Because we now have 60 shots. I don't see that AI pilots take 60 shots for an auto cannon 10 in a single mission. I mean, this could be, could be a good replacement for the Hunchback that we were running. Um, the thing is, we have four tons left over. You know? And with that, I'm gonna... Oh, this is difficult. This is difficult. I like the AC-10 here for my AI pilots to have something to shoot at mid-range. I don't want them to rush in and have nothing uh, to defend themselves when they are at medium range. Because that would result in the charger having a lot of repair cost all, all the time. This is just for AI smartness here, for AI uh, intelligence. So that they are not uh, rushing in if I gave them an AC-20. Heavy rifle. <laughs> Is that the heavy rifle build we want to see? We could. This could be it. Technically. Technically. We have a 20 burst fire. And it fits. 
I mean, this mech has no cooling yet. Now, I'm gonna go with the AC-10 approach. I think this is actually quite good. So, let's take... Uh, an AC-10 tier 3. I want the burst fire, I think. Where's the freaking AC-10 burst fire? There we go. So, we have that. We have that. I'm gonna put a single heat sink into the mech because uh, at this point we don't need to give him doubles. It is a build that we can throw on the battlefield and that's pretty good. So let's start the work on it. It will take 60 days and 1.4 million. And we have another charger. It's the second charger that we have. It's kind of weird. So does it mean Hunchback is gonna get out of commission? I don't think so. I think Hunchy is coming back to life. Let's repair it. So two single heat sinks and medium lasers and ammo. Got it. Let's actually put the ammo finally into the legs. We didn't do it yet because uh, it was kind of stock build and we didn't really care about it. You're gonna get tier 2 because you, you always lose the arms. And that. So, here, here, and here for crit padding. And we have a hunchback again. Alrighty guys, <laughs> let's check out the new builds. Let's go ahead and uh, go somewhere. Is there anything that we need to pick up here? We need to definitely take a look at the hero mech that is available. Because, you know, this is all called Heroes of the Inner Sphere. And we're gonna take a look at the goodies here. Oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't have started to work on all of those guys. Because it could very much be that we are dropping the charger again. And, and get something better. Something bigger here. Something that's more viable. A hero trebuchet. The loup de guerre. De guerre. Also runs a beagle. Interesting. Streak 2, SRM. I don't like streaks. Streaks are lock-on missiles, lock-on short-range missiles. But why would I do it? Why would I invest a lot of um, time to lock-on and a lot of weight because they are heavier than regular SRMs when I can just rush in and boom, blast the enemies apart? This is not a good mech. It, it is okay, but it's not good. What I think you can do is drop the Beagle, drop the AMS, maybe keep the AMS, drop the streaks and just go SRM force on that thing. I mean, it's a nice brawler. It's viable. It's actually quite fast, so it would be better than the the, the Kentaro that we had before. All right. So anyway, let me take a look Make at the sure barracks again. Ready. I'm looking for people with a five here, like 50 and up. Don't see anything. That's a pretty good burst fire, 20. And oh 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 oh! oh. I will pick that up. Thank you very much. There was a double heat sink. Nice. Always worth looking, guys. And I think. The rest just stays here. We're gonna try to find some trouble in a nice system that's kind of around the corner. And... Oh God, we had Marek space? So, let me take a look at operations and stats, and then we're gonna scroll down. We are plus one with Marek. Sure, let's go there. Let's go there. Okay. So, this is... Let me see. 12 to 13? Ooh, that might be a little bit too much for me. 12 to 13. Is it, though? No, it's fine. Honestly, that should be doable. We have a Soul Max now. We have a Stalker that we can easily give to an AI pilot. We have a Charger now that I want to see how it performs. And, uh, I mean, I'm gonna take the Brawling... <laughs> the, the Brawling, um... What's it called? Uh, Archer. The Agon Core. And we just blast everything apart. That's the idea here. So, let's see what we can, uh, can do. It's a 3 and 4 mission operation, so no thank you. That is definitely too much. A war zone. A war zone is perfect for what we want to try. Let's go. Enemies come in waves, and uh, they come to us. So the stalker is gonna have a not too bad of a time maneuvering. That's what we do, guys. Let's go. I'm super excited. <laughs> so, uh, again, the charter is just for AI pilots. Didn't really max it out. Playing for the independence against Liao. No, okay. Alright, we're gonna take salvage here, and we have a 400 ton drop limit, which is a crazy. So, you have a new mech now, buddy. Oh yeah, there was something on the Victor. Before we go, let me quickly check the Victor. Destroy weapon and equipment. You lost a double, oh no. Okay. Should I even bring the Victor here? I'm afraid of losing components because of stupid AI. But the more, the more mechs I build, the more good mechs I build with good equipment, the more, the less I can play them myself, you know? The less uh, other mechs I have. <laughs> Alright, I guess I, I do it. So, you are good with ballistics, you're gonna get the Victor, you are good with everything. Especially with missiles, right? Yeah, you're gonna get the Stalker. Where's the Stalker? 
Alrighty. And you are kind of an all-rounder, but more energy-based. Hmm. Do we give you the Charger? I can give you that guy, the Orion. Sure. Alright. This is a nice attack squad. All of them, except for the Stalker, a hero mech. Let's go in, guys. Let's do it. I wonder if, um, if we can come out of this alive and with our components intact. I don't think that my friends will take so much damage, though. Honestly, I don't expect them to, to lose anything because my archer will attract a lot of fire. <laughs> a lot of fire. Yeah, alright. Yeah, the problem with the build here is that the VTOLs are kind of hard to destroy because we have only have short range stuff. We're to link up with the remaining friendly screening the retreat and hold the enemy forces as long as possible. All right, we let's go. We have an opportunity for a hefty combat bonus the longer we can hold the enemies back. I wonder if I can get away with one ton less ammo and another double heat sink. Oh, and we need to upgrade. We need to upgrade uh, with the perks. That's the thing that we should definitely do on this archer because it will give us so much more combat efficiency. Uh, but again, it's for later. An enemy mech! Oh, not quite. Man, our VTOLs though. Alright, he's down. So we have a Centurion. We have a bunch of Igors with AC-10s and AC-2s. So that's pretty cool. Let's go, guys. Cool thing is that everybody runs uh, 64. Ah, except for the Stalker. Yeah, yeah. So where are my enemies? Huh? Uh, I was proposed some enemies here. I don't see any. One of our assigned targets is flying in. There they come. Flying in, you say? All right. It's good to know, but I don't see anything yet. Yeah. Enemy mech down. Enemy mech down. All right. Oh, they d destroyed one of ours. Enemy mech so we need to get a bit closer. There we go. <laughs> so, what's next? Let's see. We have a tank and we have... We have heavy ammo. We need heavy MX, Like like mediums and upward. Because they have bigger hitboxes. And they, they're not running around so much. So they're easier to hit. Here comes the tank. And there goes the tank. And now the dervish. Can I see you? Come on, buddy. You know, just die. Yeah, now we are in the brawl. Oh, I love it. And dead? No, nope, not quite. Now. That's what you do with the thing. <laughs> so, yeah, a thunderbolt. Let's go, guys. Let's go. What I need on this mech is uh, definitely better cooling. Um, but I do believe that I also need the missiles. So we need to do it with perks. Guys, please attack. Attack. I cannot do anything about it. Okay, got it. Thank you very much. Alrighty. So, I have to deal with the max, and my AI pilots have to deal with the VTOLs that are coming. I want to go for the T-Bolt. So good to have that Stalker here as well. Uh-huh. Kaboom! Kaboom! And down he goes. Oh, critical? Okay. Incoming missile! Like that? Yeah, a little bit too high even. Big target like the T-Bolt here. It will eat all the missiles. This is just great. I love it. But again, I'm attracting lots and lots of fire. Maybe it's time to actually rebuild the Orion for a mid-range build with LRMs instead of SRMs. I don't know. A crab? It's a crab! Target acquired. This never gets old. All right, you got the tanks there, guys. I'm gonna go for the max. Yeah, you got this. No problem. All right, Krabby. Hey, Mr. Krabs. Two shots, guys. Two. And we're gonna stay out of this. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting shot from behind now. Uh, I mean, Dervish. Same thing, basically. 
it is so efficient to do that. You know, it, you just blast enemies apart. And now that I take a look at my ammo count, we are halfway through our ammo. Kind of. We need that ammo. We definitely need it. Good shot on the tank. Alrighty. So, give me more. More! I demand it! This is so strong. Okay. I actually hit him. Alright. Alright, we got him. Perfect. So, next up, Phoenix Hawk. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. King Crab. Fight me, bro. Fight me. I want to attack that crab. Giant enemy crab detected. Let's go. I still see him. Crab's here. Alright, let's do it. Let's get around the corner and say hi to Mr. Krabs. Oh, what? He's, he's focused on somebody else? I mean, you know what that means, right? Butt shot. And another one. <laughs> That's how you crack open a king crab. Oh boy. Oh, this guy. This guy. <laughs> Let's go home. We don't need to stay any longer than we needed here. Wow. Wow, that was amazing. It was absolutely fantastic. Also, I forgot to actually set that to a chain fire group. Oops. I wanted to do that. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. So, we made it. So I can now... I can now completely chain fire. Ammo count is... Uh, it's kind of halfway down now. Oh, you guys are coming or not? I don't want to stay any longer. We took minimal damage, we kind of aced this mission, and I don't want to take any more than needed. I mean, you got one more. Extra pay is always good. It's 7,400 Siebels extra for that helicopter kill. But I want to get home here. Beautiful! That's the Archer, that's the Agincourt, guys. Isn't that a beauty? I love that thing. It is so damn good. And uh, when you have some uh, some real friends with you, um, you can actually pick different kind of mechs. Uh, you know, you have one guy um, kind of cle clearing the skies out, and you have one guy going brawling, attracting a lot of fire, and there are some people going precise with Gauss rifles or PPCs. And this one is definitely a brawler. We sadly don't have enough uh, right to actually claim a King Crab. That would have been so good. We can take Tiny Crab if we want to. <laughs> oh, the Consolidation Crab. Mm. I don't think so. Maybe we do. Maybe we just take that and the Phoenix Hawk and have a good time. Let's take a look at weapon systems. There's nothing I really need here. No, we'll take the max for money. Alrighty! That was amazing! And we even get a job reward in SRM6 Stream Tier 4, thanks to killing all the v v Igors. Igors? Igors. <laughs> Guys, that has been it. I hope you enjoyed the episode of Heroes of the Inner Sphere. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.